It's your bro, Mike Barron, back at you once again. I don't have a microphone right now because Henry forgot. Anyways, listen, we are in Beverly Hills right now. We're hanging out with my bro right here, Donald Trey Toner. We're here in town because we are opening up an office in the next four weeks right here in LA. We are expanding. We're opening up LA now, okay? Him and I, me and him, will be in New York the following two weeks and we're growing. So we are doing interviews tomorrow morning with the local talent, the local hitters, the sales rep of freaking LA. And you're about to see the whole thing right now. We were supposed to open up LA Q4 2023. It didn't happen for whatever reason, okay. So Trey Toner came back. We're about to open up uh, the office in the next 35 days. I need to be touched. I need to be connected. I need to be fucking connected to the damn community. I'm gonna show love, but I'm also gonna see what, what motherfuckers are really about. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna smile, but I'm gonna get very firm with motherfuckers. And I wanna see who's serious, not curious about, you know, grabbing a, a cord mill this year. So, you know, we just pulled up to the joint. We're in Beverly Hills. We're, we're about to go do interviews tomorrow. Trey spearheading most of it. Okay, we have a 21 year old vice president in sales that makes half a million dollars a year. Not a bad deal. But the guy's a fucking animal. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm getting some music in the back. But, anyways, uh, that's what's gonna go down. Keep you guys in the loop. To everybody watching, like, follow, subscribe. And uh, it's all gonna go down in the next fucking 18 hours, so stay tuned. Y'all ready? <laughs> San Diego is kind of sleepy, but everyone in LA is like biting at the bit to, to get a spot. Uh, overall, the other two have been two good appointment setting candidates. So in the next seven interviews, you got another guy coming in here in like freaking five minutes. Uh, closer time, like we need freaking closers. Appointment setters are cool, but closers pay the fucking bills. What do you guys say? He's with Academy. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's Academy, but he's also a place with our spots right now. That's how I know. Huh? I just know. Um, so I guess you reviewed one of his demos. Oh yeah. And you gave like a feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for him, I'm just like, dude, I'm, like, what position do you want? He's like, I'm like, well, you're a Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, 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 I'm, I'm just telling you guys, like, you have 60 days. If you're hired as a center, you have 60 days to be a closer. Or yeah. it's like, yeah. this isn't, like, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at LA as a chance okay, so. to go. Hey, hey, plenty of PR. Huh. Text the exec. Uh, about, about is it two down? Yeah, two, two, two on the team. Hi, Daisy. Sure, nice to meet you. Ready? Putting up LA and doing it uh, with, with Mike hand, hand in hand. But this isn't like a franchise, this person who's not from the culture is going to try to embody us. This is like, no, we're sending a piece of us. And me and Mike, and obviously you, Henry, behind the camera, we're here in freaking LA right now. I'm gonna show you my damn laptop. Like I'm freaking back to back to back to back. I have nothing but interviews all day. I had over 300 applicants within the first week. And I'm grooming and grooming and grooming, trying to find my next like diamond in the rough, trying to find my next closer who is ready to make seven figures, ready to rock a Lambo, ready to have a penthouse, make a quarter million dollars annually. Like that's, 
that's what we're doing right now. And the difference is the management's going to be there. We're, we're not just going to try to find talent here, leads, here's this. Like, no, we're, we're going to fully embody this. And LA will be the first one. Uh, then we might do New York or Miami. Uh, kind of leaning towards New York. So we're going to have LA and New York doing a half a million dollars total, quarter million each uh, monthly. Um, well, home office is doing the million dollars a month, and that, that's that, that's how we're going to expand and what Grant Cardone's house. You got the swag, you got the intelligence, you got the presentation, you got the drive, you got the whole fucking thing. Uh, to start, so yeah. it'll be 10 and then we'll scale up to 25. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go. Well, I'm locking in, bro. Let's go. That's down. it. I'll okay. see you. Okay. See you right, Good to see you, my dog. Good to see you. Yeah. See All you right. Catch week. y'all later. Well, indicators are out because you said he like looks good, so I'm like trying to figure out like what the fuck's wrong with him. But like, he's running a business right now. He's making 4k a month. Like he's trying to. Like, trying to do labor shit. Yeah. Movers. He has like buddies who like does it. He doesn't have an office, but like they don't have trucks or anything. They literally like, just like move shit. Okay. LA, what up? Okay, we are done. This guy right here, as much as I want to take the credit, this guy right here did a hell of a job. You interviewed how many people? We did 10 interviews today. 10 interviews today. How many offers? 10 offers. 10 offers. So literally in the next two weeks, these people are going to start closing deals, making money, paperwork come Monday. We're going to bring them back to San Diego, do a freaking boot camp in the flesh, and the winners are going to rise to the occasion. And the softies are to get broken. I'm just saying. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, yeah.